Hello, my name is Brad Elkins. I'm with EOS Remediation. Today I want to walk you through a typical ejection design if you're ever considering using our products for your remediation. If you order EOS or any of our other remediation products, you have several delivery options to choose from. Our products can be packaged in 55 gallon drums, 275 gallon IBC totes, or if your job is very large, you could order it in one of these very large a 5,000 gallon bulk tanker limits. So the first thing you might want to consider when you're planning your design is how you're going to store and mix the EOS product you've chosen for your site. Uh, you could uh, store it in a secondary tank and that tank could be anything uh, as small as this 500 gallon conical tank or you could if you're project is very large, you can consider renting a very large frack tank, something that's 10,000 gallons or more. Uh, this tank here, both of these tanks can both store your EOS and also be the same vessel that you mix with water prior to injection. Obviously the next thing you're going to need to consider is how you're going to pump and circulate the EOS and the water that you're going to use for injection. Uh, the great thing about using an EOS product is the type of pumps that you can use to mix the product and inject the product uh, are, are pretty much the sky is the limit. You can use everything from a, a typical centrifugal pump, which you see here on the ground. They're using this pump here to both recirculate the mixed EOS as well as push the EOS out to the various lo injection locations. Uh, so this is one style of pump that you can use. You could also use as something as big as like a diaphragm pump, a gear pump, anything like that. But this is pretty common use, using these centrifugal pumps. To monitor the volume of your injection, you're going to want to use some type of flow totalizer. And there's really two that you could use. You could either use a digital output flow totalizer or you could use an analog uh, totalizer. And here I've shown one of these uh, typical flow meters that might be used to track your injection volume during the project. Okay, so now that we've got our EOS delivered and it's mixing in our tanks, uh, I want to talk about the actual injection at the well location. So here you can see we've got our EOS. Uh, plumbed in and piping and pumping to the to the well location. For this uh, project, they're actually injecting two wells simultaneously. They have a nested well pair, so they're injecting those wells at the same time. Uh, you can see here they're monitoring their flow from their totalizers. They have a valve here that can control the flow and shut it off when necessary. Those are then plumbed to the top of the well head at these manifolds. They've got a pressure gauge so they can monitor the pressure at the well head. And they also have a bleed valve at the top so they can control flow or uh, control any air pressure that might build up and alleviate that pressure. Your project might not look like this. You might not necessarily have to inject two wells simultaneously. In, in that case, there would just been, be one of these plumbed up. But regardless, uh, the, the idea is exactly the same. You've got your uh, pumping EOS, you're monitoring your flow, and you're controlling your pressure at the well head. All right, so the last thing that we should talk about is your well placement, well installation, and how you're gonna space your wells and the, and the arrangement of the well array and the well field. So here first, this, is, this would be considered kind of more like a source area treatment. You've got a cluster of wells spaced evenly apart um, over a very small area that's designed to target the contamination in a very condensed, um, very uh, concise fashion. This is really designed to nail down a source area and get rid of that source area. So the other type of uh, well arrangement you can have at your remediation site is a barrier, uh, a, a permeable barrier. So how you would uh, uh, set those wells up is perpendicular to groundwater flow. You would have a line of wells evenly spaced in a single row all the way down your entire treatment link. This is designed to help control plume migration or to help uh, help with groundwater flow and capture contaminants as they're trying to move off site. Well that, that concludes our demonstration today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Again, my name is Brad Elkins. I'm with EOS Remediation. And feel free if you have any questions, please visit our website. It's www.eosremediation.com or call us at 919-873-2204. For North Carolina, this is Brad Elkins signing off.